We're back now with new legal trouble for Bruce Jenner, the Olympian and reality star who recently announced he is transgender, is facing a lawsuit this morning, blaming him for a deadly crash that killed one woman. NBC's Hallie Jackson has more for us. Bruce Jenner back in the headlines today, now being sued for his role in a deadly chain reaction crash in Malibu in February. Police say Jenner's Escalade rear-ended a Lexus, pushing it into oncoming traffic. A Hummer then hit the car head-on, killing its driver, Kim Howe. Now, her stepchildren are blaming Jenner for what they call negligent, reckless, and careless driving. If Bruce Jenner was speeding on that highway and the plaintiffs can prove it, he has no choice but to write a check on this one. Sources familiar with the investigation tell NBC News Jenner appeared to be traveling at a reasonable speed, but that police have not ruled out the possibility he was going too fast for the conditions. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department is still investigating, but attorneys for the victim's stepchildren say they feel an obligation to bring the truth to light and seek justice for Ms. Howe. Dana Redmond and William Howe claim they suffered enormous damages and losses. While Jenner previously shared his deepest sympathy with those involved in the crash, his team is not commenting on the lawsuit, which was filed one week after the former Olympian and star of Keeping Up with the Kardashians publicly revealed on ABC he's transitioning to life as a woman. I doubt if that interview had much bearing to do with it. However, Bruce Jenner, he is the type of person that has a lot of money, so I'm sure that that went into play with the decision to file a case against him. A new legal battle for a celebrity used to the spotlight, now under new scrutiny. For today, Hallie Jackson, NBC News, Los Angeles.